Hello students, welcome to module 5, Numerical Methods. This module 5 is very easy model compared to other models. So here you can get very easily 20 marks. Now, forward difference. Consider the function y equal to f of x. Let y0, y1, y2 up to yn be the values of y corresponding to the values of x that is x0, x1, x2, xn. Now we shall see how to write forward difference table. Let x value be equal to x0, x1, x2, x3 and y value be equal to y0, y1, y2, y3. Now first difference which is denoted by delta forward difference in fact delta y0 is equal to y1 minus y0 delta y1 which is given by y2 minus y1 delta y2 which is given by y3 minus y2 now the second forward difference which is denoted by delta square delta square y0 is given by delta y1 minus delta y0 delta square y1 which is equal to delta y2 minus delta y1 Similarly, we can write third forward difference which is denoted by delta cube. Delta cube y0 is delta square y1 minus del square y0. Here delta is called forward difference operator. Similarly, we can construct backward difference table. Again x value be equal to x0, x1, x2, x3. Y value be equal to y0, y1, y2, y3. First backward difference which is denoted by del, del y1 is equal to y1 minus y0, del y2 is equal to y2 minus y1, del y3 is equal to y3 minus y2. Second backward difference is denoted by del square, del square y2 is del y2 minus del y1, del square y3 is del y3 minus del y2. Third backward difference is denoted by del cube. Del cube y3 is given by del square y3 minus del square y2. Here del is called backward difference operator. Now let us see one example. Construct the difference table for the following values of y equal to f of x. Given f of 0 as 1, f of 1 as 3 f of 2 as 7, f of 3 as 13. So the x values are 0, 1, 2, 3. y values are 1, 3, 7, 13. Now the first difference that is 3 minus 1 which is 2, 7 minus 3 which is 4, 13 minus 7 which is 6. These are very easy to write. Second difference, two mi 4 minus 2 is 2, 6 minus 4 which is also 2. Now you know the pattern. The third difference, 2 minus 2 which is 0. I hope how to write the difference table. I hope you understood how to write the a difference table. Now let us see the definition of interpolation. Interpolation means if the values of y equal to f of x is known for x equal to x0, x1, x2, xn, then the process of finding the value for any given x within the interval x0 to xn is called interpolation. Extrapolation means the process of finding the value of y for any given x outside the interval x0 to xn is called extrapolation. For example, if I consider the uh, above example, if I want to find the value of y at say x equal to 2.5. Now this 2.5 lies in the interval 0 to 3 x0 is 0 here xn or x3 is 3 so x equal to 2 point lies within the interval 
so we can find the value of y at x equal to 2.5 that is called interpolation similarly if i want to find the value of y at x equal to minus 1 or at x equal to 4 then i then that process is called extrapolation now the first method is newton's forward interpolation formula or it is also called as newton's gregory interpolation formula which is given by y equal to f of x which is equal to y naught plus r times delta y naught plus r into r minus 1 whole divided by 2 factorial delta square y naught plus r into r minus 1 into r minus 2 whole divided by 3 factorial delta cube y naught plus etc. The last term that is the nth term is r into r minus 1 into r minus 2 etc. up to r minus of n minus 1 whole divided by n factorial delta to the power n y naught. Here r minus n r minus of n minus 1 which can also be written as r minus n plus 1 where r is given by x minus x naught by h where x naught is called initial value of x or first value of x x is the point at which y value is required h is called step length and is given by h equal to x1 minus x naught which is also equal to x2 minus x1 which is also equal to x3 minus x2 plus etc. For n points it is continuous up to xn minus xn minus 1. All these differences are same. Another method is Newton's backward interpolation formula. The Newton's backward interpolation formula is given by y equal to f of x which is equal to y n plus r times del y n plus r into r plus 1 whole divided by 2 factorial multiplied by del square y n plus r into r minus r plus 1 into r plus 2 whole divided by 3 factorial into del cube y n plus etc up to the nth term is r into r plus 1 r plus 2 into r plus 3 etc up to r plus n minus 1 whole divided by n factorial multiplied by del to the power n by n. Here r is given by x minus xn divided by h where again x is the point at which y value is required. xn is the last value or final value of x. h is called step size. Now the very important note for problems the first one is while finding the value of y at x if x value lies near to the beginning of the table then we use newton's forward interpolation formula if x value lies near to the end of the table then we use newton's backward interpolation formula now in the above example if i want to find the value of y at x equal to 0.5 then we have to use newton's forward difference formula forward interpolation formula sorry if i want to find the value of y at x equal to say 2.5 then we should use newton's backward interpolation formula now the second note if there are n points that is say if there are n set of x and y values then we may get at most n minus 1 differences for example in the above example there are 1 2 3 4 set of x and y values so we may get at most a third difference that we have got you can observe we can observe here so if there are four points we may get third difference if there are five points we may get a maximum of fourth differences so we have to remember newton's backward interpolation formula and newton's forward interpolation formula to work out the problems in the next video we shall see how to work out the problems thank you